So in this video, I'm going to cover this green avocado Western Electric 500, which I actually just got working today. Um, what I was waiting on was this connection block right here. And as you can see, I've stripped the um, covering for the wires and put some spade lug connectors on them so I can connect them to this connection block and then just plug a regular modular cable into that so I can get it hooked up to the PBX. And the only thing I had to fix was the ringer. Um, first of all, I didn't have the yellow wire plugged in initially or connected to the um, screw terminal there. So I connected that. And then I had to do some um, finicking around here. And it was much easier than I had hoped. I thought I would have to, you know, unplug or not unplug, unscrew some of these things and move some wires around, but the problem was actually very simple. Um, so, I believe it is the bias spring, if I can get into focus. You can see it right there. It is the silver knob, or not silver knob, silver rod right here. Underneath this striker, it's probably pretty hard to see. It's this small metallic thing sticking out underneath that. And right now it's in the correct position. But before it was not. And it, that prevented it from ringing. So you can see I've moved that rod back to where it was when I opened this phone up. And it's in the other position now. And I'll call this phone out so you can see what was happening when, when I was calling it. And I didn't hear the ringer. And I'll have to keep, I'll just put this receiver back on. You can do that with the 500 handset because I need it in an off hook state for it to ring, obviously. And I'll call this phone here. So you can see that it wasn't really doing much. And you can actually hear the bells really faintly if you listen. When I opened it up, it wasn't even doing that, so I didn't hear anything. And my hunch was that the ringer was disconnected. No, I just had to move that rod right there, and that fixed it. So, I'll do that now. And now it's on the other side. And now you can hear that something is actually happening. So right now the ringer is in its lowest volume setting. And to change the ringer on a traditional telephone such as this one, you actually move one of the bells here, so I'm going to slowly increase the volume using a knob or a wheel on the bottom here. Notice how the bell moves to the right. The bell on the right will move to the right. And slowly it will get louder. And it gets louder because the striker has more room, it has more room to move. And thus, when it hits the bells, when it strikes the bells, it does so with much more force, and thus you hear a louder sound. Obviously, this is the lowest volume. There's no, you know, mute for the ringer, obviously, except disconnecting it. Or I guess you could change the bias spring rod to the other position as it was when I opened this phone up. It's possible somebody did that um, back when they had this phone just so the phone company couldn't detect this phone and bill them for it um, because back in the day the telephone company billed you based on how many ringers you had connected. That was how they could figure out how many phones you had. Now 
And I'm just going to make this louder now, just because this is a little bit too quiet for my liking. So I've put the handset back on and turned this around so it looks, I guess, a little bit normal. And as you can see, that was all I had to do to this phone to get it back in an ideal state for using it. Um, there is some rust around the corners of the base here. Um, that is obviously not ideal. But other than that, um, this phone is in good condition um, from its last owner. You can see that. Whoever gave this to me covered up their number. I could take that off, but um, there's this plastic thing over the dial card. And I, I could go to the trouble to get it out, but I'm really not too concerned about that since that number doesn't even mean anything now. But yeah, this is working now. So um, I could put the cover back on, but you don't need to. And I won't just to show you that you can use the phone without taking the cover off. I can dial this phone right here. So it is dialing out. And I'll put it back on hook. And we can, of course, call the phone. I've already demoed that. So I'll put the cover back on now. So I've put the cover back on. I haven't screwed it in yet. I'll do this after I'm done with this video. But uh, it looks just like a normal 500 phone now. And we can use it more normally. So I can take this off hook. Still make a call if I wanted to. And you can hear it ringing like this because it... It does sound a little bit different with the cover on, um, if you really want to be finicky about the acoustics. So I'll just demo that. I'll use this phone to call it this time. And again, this is a hardwired phone. Like I said earlier though, I've got it wired up to this connection block, and I've got the cover off here, so that way you can see what's going on in there. But um, the spade log connectors are screwed in under the nails, and that is how it's set up right now. So that way I can keep this nice, long, green, hardwired cord, but still plug a modular cable into it. 